We're following more breaking news tonight. Allegations of sexual discrimination rocking the University of St. Joseph. The school is being sued by the former associate athletic director, and we've learned that legendary basketball coach Jim Calhoun is also named in the lawsuit. Channel 3's Susan Raff is live on campus in West Hartford with the very latest. Susan. Aaron, the lawsuit was filed today by Jacqueline Piscatelli. She worked for the, yes, the university as the associate athletic director. Piscatelli claims that she was fired back in June after complaining several times over several months to her boss. She says Jim Calhoun and other men here at the university created what she calls a boys club and made disparaging and inappropriate comments. In the fall of 2018, the University of St. Joseph went co-ed. Jim Calhoun, the former UConn men's basketball coach, was hired to coach the men's team at St. Joe's. Jacqueline Piscatelli was the associate athletic director. She was fired in June and is now suing the university for things she says were done and said to her. Her attorney says rather than protecting Jackie and her female colleagues from further harassment and discrimination, USJ not only condoned this boys club, it fired Jackie in retaliation for daring to speak out against it. Piscatelli says the athletic department became a male-dominated hostile work environment, that the university gave Calhoun and his team preferential treatment by diverting resources from women's sports. She also says Calhoun once made a statement to her, saying, well, you're certainly hot, using hot in its slang usage to mean physically or sexually attractive. Channel 3 went to Piscatelli's home. No one answered the door. When we contacted the university, they had this to say. We have received and are reviewing the lawsuit. The University of St. Joseph takes compliance with all matters relating to Title IX very seriously. Also named in this lawsuit, Glenn Miller. He was the assistant coach, and in fact, Miller worked with Jim Calhoun when they were at UConn. We made several attempts to try to reach Jim Calhoun today through the university, but we have not been successful. We do know that the Associated Press also has reached out to Jim Calhoun, but so far we have not heard any comments from Jim Calhoun. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, more on this lawsuit and what Piscatelli is saying that Calhoun and Miller did when she was here at the university. We are live in West Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.